Hello and welcome back. This is Laura Miller Pins here with another amazing, exciting episode of Sheen Talk Live. I'd like to call today Music Wednesday because all of our artists and talent that we've spoken to today have been amazing artists. So, Music Wednesday it is. Our next guest is so awesome and so amazing. He has a very, very unique story that I think that you guys are really going to enjoy. He's out here hustling super hard and I want to learn more about his motivation behind his artistry. So give us a moment and we'll bring him in. While we wait, do me a quick favor and send this live to everyone you know. Just drop this live in the DM so we can have a full packed house in here. We can have some standing room access. You guys remember standing rooms, right? When we were outside all the time and outside was safe and we could have a standing room. Um, the lovely person who requested to go live, unfortunately, I am waiting on a guest. So we can't bring you live. But hopefully we'll open the opportunity up to have people come live with us and just chat with us so we will look into that for you just to make sure but i guess is on its way on his way so where are you guys from how are you feeling how's your wednesday well i'm feeling pretty good I wrapped up an entire day of e-learning. It was a challenge, but I got to end the day with talking to some amazing artists and entertainers. So far, we spoke with Beer Nick. That was our interview right before this one. And our initial one was a wonderful gentleman named Kenny Iko. He was dope too. They were both amazing. They both sang. I love it when people sing to me, so hopefully this next guest will sing or rap because he's multi-talented. Hopefully we'll get one of those out the way. So we're going to sit tight and wait on our guest, and hopefully he'll pop in soon. He has arrived. Bring him up. Hi. Hey, how you doing? I'm great. Oh, man, you just perked me up. Everything about you just woke me up. <laughs> how you doing? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing great. How about yourself? I'm good. I am so interested to learn about you, sir. I First, first of all, I like your necklace. Oh, thank you. Wakanda forever. Sorry to interrupt you, but I like your necklace. First. Thank you. Wakanda forever. Oh. Um, so first things first, it's J. Young, MDK, right? Correct. So where's MDK? What's that? What does that mean? So originally, I used to call myself Jay Young, the Million Dollar Kid. So the MDK came from Million Dollar Kid um, originally. That's interesting. And now it's still Jay Young, MDK, but I don't put nothing with it now. Like, yeah, because that's like super long. You don't want to like, yeah, like drop Jay Young, Million Dollar Kid. But you it's, can't it's be like on the stage so. like, yeah, this is Jay Young, the Million Dollar. That's a really long exactly. name. That's too much. That's really too much. <laughs> so I'm glad you tried it. MDK. Yeah, I like it. I like it. So here's the most important question that I have to talk to you about immediately because it is, it is, I have questions. 50 songs in 50 weeks? Yeah, so I came up with that whole concept. Um, shout to my boy Sam Harmonics. We was just in LA recording like crazy at Jamie Foxx house. Um, shout to Jamie Foxx as well. So I, I was racking up so many records and you know, as artists, we like, like we can't decide what's the single we're like this is a single or maybe that's a single or we're gonna put this out first for the streets and i'm gonna put this out second for the girls and then x y and z so i was like you know what how about i just release 50 songs 50 weeks um i've never heard of nobody else that's done it um so i was like let me release 50 songs 50 weeks and not only let the people decide but just like each week could be a new soundtrack to that week you know what i mean like it's just like, okay, we turning up this week. Okay, we're talking about Black Lives Matter this week, which we should always be talking about. But I'm just saying, like, musically, like, this is what I want to express this week, and this is what I want to express the next week. So wow. that's where the whole concept came from. We did it, and yeah. That's and nice. the rest has been history. It's been a um, great response. Um, I'm at week number 24 with that. 
So we at the halfway mark. It's halftime right now. So at halftime, I'm dropping the, the two albums, and then we're going to go back and press. So wait, wait, wait. Hold on. You're not even including the two albums into that 50? So, well, some of the some of the records on, on the two albums was in the 50. But uh, for the most part, no. We just My goodness. And releasing uh, albums and records. So needless to say, you've been in quarantine working extremely hard. Oh, of course. Of course. I feel like... <laughs> Yeah, go it, ahead. it never got you down then. You were obviously just inspired the entire time. I was inspired. I'm not going to say it never got me down because that would be a lie. Like, right. you know, you go, your, your mood change as a human being. It's like, like it gets you down. Like someone like me who got all the energy in the world and who always want to record or do something, like, of course, it got me down because I want to just be outside. Um, everything was going crazy. I, literally, everything was going in the right direction. I'm like sitting there at jamie's house and we working and all type of stuff going on and then bow a pandemic hit so now it's like okay slow down whatever plans you thought you had uh because this is yeah we shutting this down that's what uh the world or the government or whatever you <laughs> right someone done. said <laughs> shut down so i want to talk to you because you you said jamie like three times he's one of my favorite sagittarius if i'm a sag so i'm gonna say this too Oh, yes. When is your birthday? Okay, okay, okay. I knew it was something there. Yes. Sagittarius gang. Well, birthday coming up soon. Yes. We got, I was just telling people I wanted to throw a 90s birthday party for my birthday. And I was like, but outside it's not. Might have to jump something. through We'll it. figure something out. Yeah, we have to figure something out. We're going to do something because it's in our nature to just do something, right? Absolutely. So how did you align yourself with Jamie Foxx? Because he has wonderful taste and wonderful talent. Um, so how did you find it? It's an extremely long story, but I'll make it short. Like, long story short, we met in Atlanta, Georgia. I was a movie extra on a um, movie called Sleepless. So, um... I was, on, I was on that movie set. Um, he was making jokes about me, calling me Tupac Bryant. He said I look like Kobe and Tupac. So I was like, okay. I ended up going home, and I was like, you know what? Well, I mean, everything was good, and I took the jokes in, and we was, everything was good. But I went home, and I thought to myself, like, you know what? I got to let them know I do music and that I'm not just somebody that looked like Tupac or Kobe or whatever you, you feel. So Yeah, I, I asked more Kobe day. than Pac. Right. So I let him. I let him hear the uh, the music the next day. And uh, long story short, he loved it. He was like, "Damn, this is dope." I asked that I perform it. Originally, they told me I couldn't perform it. I said, "Well, at least can you play the songs out loud so everybody else can hear the song?" But I knew that if he played it out loud, and if they gave me the mic, I was like, "Well, can I get the mic so I can introduce it?" And um, and it's on my page somewhere. If you go and you check that out, that was the moment I met him. So he gave me the mic. Um, I, I introduced the song, start performing. The crate, the place went crazy. He went crazy. It was just a great moment. It was real epic. Um, a, a day I'll never forget, and that was the start of our relationship. That's dope. I heard he has amazing parties, but we'll talk about that offline. We oh yeah, he have a, he have the best parties. He got the best um hospitality. I mean, he's just all around just a good person and lit and turned up and just like you know, it's always great energy when you. Fox. Yeah. Like, you know, daddy tell to just everything. Yeah, very cool. So aqua and black. Aqua and all black. <laughs> <laughs> um so I got to hear I so I listen to music new music like an A and R, right? Okay. So I'll do like forty five seconds of each song. So like, did I, it catch you or did it not catch you type yeah, of Yeah, so I'm going to, I, I'm leaning towards Aqua, right? And then I turned black on and I was like, wait a minute, he got bars too? <laughs> and and, now, and that's the reason why I dropped Aqua and Black. For those who don't know that's joined in, uh, Aqua is the R&B album, R&B emo, I would say, and Black is the, um, is the rap album. And the reason I did that is because it's so many sides of me, and I feel like I couldn't have done that in one project. Mm -hmm. It would like you wouldn't have been able to get it all. So the R and B side, you could get that, even though everything's not completely R and B. I still got bars on the R and B side, but it's mm -hmm. like more geared toward the ladies. Um, and then on the rap side, it's it's still a couple lady records, but then it's just like bars and turned up, and it's just the the cocky, but then still the um. The, the the energy but then yes. you know, the the um the realness like on certain songs like 
uh, what song would I say? Um, oh, um, with the Outlaws, "Don't Leave," featuring the Outlaws and Sam Harmonics. That's real deep, a real deep record talking about what's going on right now with everything that's going on. And then you got the uh, the intro, "We Winning," which like uh, had you in the gym pumped up. Yeah, right? I, I did want to do push-ups. I did. Mm -hmm. I love that. That, that one. So, no. so many different things and then you got the thank you record where I'm you know talking about my daughter and, and talking about the Jamies and and, and, and opportunities and thank, being thankful for everything so it's just like so many different things on both projects you're gonna get two complete different things but I saw that post you wrote that thank you post almost it was a cheer jerker almost like it almost um, took me out no because a lot of times you know you, you'll see someone like me and there's so many people that's helped me along my journey like and it ain't, it ain't like it don't have to be musically it don't have to be film wise it don't have to be money it don't have to be none of that but it's just like it's certain people i may call and they give me advice so i may not even call them they may call me and be like bro i've seen x y and z i think you could do this better or i think that or i think that oh this swag it's so many people that give me so much in so many different ways that i wanted to at least like or whether it was the dj who played my song two years ago that helped elevate me or a DJ who's playing it now, or, or your platform right here, your, the magazine. It's like all of these things help. So, yeah. I love that. So I, that's what I wanted to say with the thank yous. So you thank you to anybody that's tuned in, to anybody yeah, that's many thank me yous to everyone. Way, warm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You just so, you just have a really good, warm spirit. And I think a lot of times in the music industry, we can become you know jaded to believe that everybody is not nice like there are not genuinely good people out here and i like that about you you just seem like a really re genuine person but also a genuinely nice person which is kind of hard to come by sometimes <laughs> i mean it's no reason not to be at the end of the day it's like you know god gives it to us he can take it away just as fast and um and the way you treat people on the way up, when you're on your way down, because everybody, you had the ship have to fall. I don't know it how far sure they fall, but they definitely have to fall. You're not gonna mm -hmm. be at the t top, and that goes for nobody. So the way you mm -hmm. treat people going up is how you're gonna um, get treated on the way down. So, so for you guys that don't, uh, if you miss this reference, he's gonna know exactly what I'm talking about. Jay Young MDK actually made an entire speaker box love below all by himself. <laughs> that's dope i never thought about it like that but being that outcast is one of my favorite groups um of all time um dang i didn't think about it like that yeah you dope. absolutely did and i'm so glad that you didn't have that presence in mind because if, maybe if you had it in mind when you created it it would have been like you know too obvious yeah, and too difficult yeah it would have been like you, you're right and yeah but you and absolutely shout out to, uh, did. King james uh shout out to king james too that's my bro right there we uh actually did a record before um, me and Sammy did a record produced by Helm and uh, Fitz, so shout out to Helm here in the building. I just hey, King him. James, thanks for stopping by. Yes. But, but um, and there's so many people I want to thank on, on here, too. But, yeah, uh, thank you for saying that. Like I said, there's so many different versions of me um, that I just like to record. And so mm -hmm. many times people try to put me in a box, and I'm sure that you've been through it and other people have been through it. Yeah, you may be doing this, but I'm sure you do something else and you have other aspirations to do after that as well and it's no different with me so like people like are you gonna rap or are you gonna sing and it's not like i sing like jodeci i'm more so just have a, a style of singing you know what i mean yeah. i know my pockets and i know what i'm good at and i'm i'm better at songs like just making good records that feel good regardless of what i do with it so i'm like okay i'm gonna do the the rapping i'm gonna do the r b and and you know we just gonna put it out there like I'm just recording each song this it, like I had nothing in mind to where it was like I'm gonna do this rap and I'm gonna do this no it's just like I hit a beat I love it this sound like I want to sing on it this sound like I want to rap on it do what it do package it up like oh these will go dope on this this will go dope on this project together voila I feel black I love that so is it safe to say that when you well actually no I want to preface this different when you are creating, I'm going to do it based on moods. When you're upset and you write songs, are you a rapper or a singer? Oh, definitely a rapper. I'm a rapper first. Like, I'm a rapper first. Like, if anyone who know my history, I, I started out battle rapping. Ooh. So I'm, 
Yeah, I started out battle rapping um, in Atlanta, Georgia, 107.9. I was a freestyle champ there for a whole year straight. In nice. Georgia. So I started out, always had bars. Like, that was my thing. I discovered singing. I always, like, was able to write singing songs, but I always was too cool to do them. Like, I was like, no, nah, I'm not doing that, you know, but I could write this for this artist or for that artist. So I started out doing that, and then, like, more recently, I became more and more confident with being like, no, this is a hit regardless. I'm putting it out. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm going to keep it for me. Yeah, I'm going to keep this one for me instead of just giving everybody the R&B records. Like, I'm going to keep it for me. So that's, that's how that cool. uh, So if I'm angry, it's going to be, we go, we giving you bars. Bars, bars, bars. If it's, um, if I'm in a, in a fly vibe mood, then that's when you get the R&B. Like, on your birthday is our vibe on me, speaking of vibes. Like, that's when you get that R. I'm still a ladies' man at the same time, so it's, like, easy for me to tap into that. So. Nice. You can rap and be a ladies' man, too. Huh? You can rap and be a lady. Oh, yeah. Like, like, like Fabulous. Shout out to Fabulous. And yeah, Fab. You know, which is one of my, uh, a big influence on me, too. Fabulous, like, growing up listening to him and seeing him. He's, like, one of the best to ever do it when it comes to that. And Mace yeah. is, and stuff like that. Did you just say Mace? Yeah. Okay, you're my new bestie. <laughs> That's my guy. I actually used to work with Mace when I was, like, in high school. What? Yeah. And when he was a pastor or, like, as a rapper? No, he, as a rapper. As a rapper. Nice. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, because Mace is, I still, he had the Mace best hit. Mace classic album. Mace yeah, he, on a, a classic album that he never released, and I heard it, and it was crazy. It just, it's just sitting there? It's just sitting there. And that's, that's so why, sad. and that's why I'm just throwing my stuff out, because I've been in that place before where I was just, like, loaded with material. And I'm still loaded with that same material, and I never put it out. And that was old to me because that's just how we do as artists. Like, you know, something three months old, six months old, it just get old to you. Mm -hmm. So we're at the halfway part mark of the 50, right? So uh -huh. next week, shout even out, though... I'm sorry. Shout out to Jalen Smith. I just seen Jalen Smith in here. He's, um, he's a big part of my campaign as well, like helping with all the artworks, the graphics, really an all-purpose guy, so shout out to him. That's my little bro. Um, shout out to shout out to him. Shout out to um, shout out to Five Images because he do most of my dope images as well. Um, like he did the album cover images, so shout out to Five. Shout out to my dude Kareem because Kareem is doing a lot of dope graphic up. He just tapped in right now. See, I knew you was coming in here. Shout hey, out to Kareem. My dude Kareem. So that's like my team right there. And those are people and, and, and those are people that just literally like, when you see me win, we all did it. You know what I mean? I'm handling one that. thing, but they're handling something. So I just want everybody to know that at the same time. I don't want all of shine to just be on me. Like I want you to check out everybody else as well. Mm -hmm. They're they doing it. That's dope. If you want to go far, you got to bring people with you. Of course, I'm ready to bring everybody. Everybody that's ready to work and ready to go just as hard as me, they can come with me. That's amazing. Um, I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna, come, I'm gonna come with you too. I'm coming too. Let's uh, go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> you know that's how sad this do. We always put our bid in whenever we can. We just you know. Absolutely. 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 I love working with uh, talented people and like-minded people. I love it. Yes. Like, I shout it. out to Upscale PR. We see you guys in Upscale here. Upscale PR, shout out to Upscale PR as well. Doing that super dope article. It was super dope. Like, thank you. I, thank I you. read it. It was really good. My I'm mom so read that and was loving it and, and hit me back. Like, oh my God, that's a great article. So, <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, so I want to know actually before you go, because we are going to wrap up, you guys soon and i don't want to leave you guys yeah. because we're having so much but, but we gotta wrap up because we gotta give you more yeah because we have actual work to do we gotta give you more so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so yeah, we gotta I, give you more so oh, you were listening to that we made history today we made oh. history today we, we did, did make history today we are the first we are the first people to put out a not only two albums on the same day but two different genres oh wow Cause it wasn't just like two rap albums or a double album. Shout out to like Tupac. I think he was the first person. That's my idol to drop a double album, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it was a double. Well, a double rap album, I think. Double rap album. R. Kelly yes. did one. But it wasn't two it. separate albums. It was all eyes on me. If I'm mm -hmm. not mistaken, same mm -hmm. album. Like we got Apple, we got Black, which is 
two completely separate albums, but it's also two completely separate uh, genres as well. So y'all made history history. We made history history. Wow. We made history history. And you guys made history because you guys recorded it first. That's, so that's right. We all made it his, uh, together. This uh, claps all around for everybody. <laughs> yes, that's amazing. So we have more music coming out next week, even though you just dropped a bazillion. Oh, yeah. I'm dropping... Um, I'm dropping I'm dropping something else next week. I don't know which song I'm releasing yet. Like I literally pick the song like two or three days before I put it out every week. I'm like, mm, nah, let's just throw this one out. Like I hit Jalen up, like, yo, Jalen, you got a cover for this? He hit hit me, boom, it's in the cover. Boom. We released that song. Shout out to your sound engineers for getting everything mixed and mastered. Shout out to Sam Harmonix. Sam Harmonix is the one that's doing the um engineer man. He made he mixed the whole album, the whole project. And he produced um Eight, eight of the eight records out of the 20 between both albums so he's super dope and he's featured on one of the records as well so yeah. and, and we was just locked in shout to jamie fox we was locked in uh fox home studio and um recorded uh half of it there half of it at my house and uh before i go hollywood studio and um yeah the rest was history shout <laughs> to fire in the building I love I, I, you're, my, you're, you're one of my new favorite people. They're the ones who did the um he's the one who did the album for the um, album cover. Yep. I talked to the him photo, earlier. He did the, he did the photo for the album um cover. Jalen did the uh artwork for Aqua and Kareem did the artwork for um for black and then they all just help with everything. It's like they all purpose like that, then graphics, then this, wow. whatever we need done, the whole team. That's like I'm, I'm excited to have a team of people that's like just dope. They all good at what they do, so and we just that's push each other to be better. So the last question before we wrap today, I want to know your, cause you're a rapper first. Your top five MCs, dead or alive? Top five dead or alive? Tupac, mm -hmm. duh, <laughs> Biggie, <laughs> bars, um, Jay Z. Top five. Hmm. I gotta throw somebody from the south in that thing though too. Andre. Andre, Andre three thousand is my guy. Mm -hmm. um, and I gotta get the West Coast in there. And I would have to go, which is kind of hard too. I'm gonna have to go Snoop. And I have a song with Snoop, so shout out to Snoop Dogg as well. Um, he's on a rich shit remix, but we'll, you you guys will be getting that probably top of next year. I'll probably wait and release that on this other project, but um. That's what I'm gonna have to go with, but I don't have a top five. There's too many dope. It's too many dope artists out there. It's yeah, I change mine artists. like every every three months, I think. Huh? I change my list like every three it's, months. It's too many dope people. It's yeah. Like, like I love like I like the Fabulouses. I like the Drakes. I like the J Coles. I like the Kendricks. I like the uh, um, I like the Rick Ross. Like everybody brings so many different things to the table. There's no such thing. It's like saying what's the best house in America. You know what I mean? It's like, and you're just looking around like, this is the best house in America. It's, no, it's not. It's no, like, it's not. Love this style. Then you have like a European style home, or you may have like a, a Latin Spanish style home, which I like. Like, it's so many different things, and that's how music is. And and rap is the only, I got to say this too, because you know, black people always comparing. Rap is the only only genre that we do that too and it's only like supposed to be one king but nobody does that in rock and roll they don't say yo who's the best rock and roll like they like, did they did though we okay. were just not born yet because okay. they put like the beatles and like rolling when stone they, like, they would like not yeah. as much as hip-hop hip-hop makes it like it's, it, it could only be one king yeah and there can't be any female kings like you got to put the oh, whoa, whoa, over that, Shout yeah. out to the girls out there. Shout out to uh, Cardi B. Shout out to Megan Thee Stallion, Milano. There's so many hot girls out right now. I feel like that's the future of rap, if you ask me. The future of rap is the females because females already run everything and, and y'all buy everything. So now if y'all start supporting each other, it's a rap. Like, females going to be just as popping or popular or selling just as much as the men. I believe dope. that. So shout out to all the dope female um, artists out there. I believe that. So you are the most motivating young man I've ever talked to you on Sheen Talk Live. You just oh, jazz me up. I feel like I want to do push-ups. But before we leave, <laughs> leave a um, a mantra or a personal thing that you recite daily that motivates you that would help the, the listeners or today. 
a thing that I do daily um, or motivate me, I always ask myself, what's next? Like, I'm never, I'm never, ever satisfied. It's like, yeah, we just dropped two albums, and this is the hype for the day. We made history today. But what about tomorrow? Like, now what's the next move? Now what's the next move? Now what's the next move? Like, I always keep that in mind that, um, like, like Andre 3000 said, you only as funky as your last cut. You know what I mean? Like, you only as good as your last home run or your last bucket. Nobody care if you scored 50 points 10 games ago if we lose them right now today. Exactly. So, that's that's the way I live my life, and um, yeah, that's the way I stay hungry and just keep going. Just keep I getting love that. Everybody, give a round of applause to Jay Young and DK. Thank you. A round of applause to my whole team. A round of applause to you guys for having us, and I hope this is not the last time. Um, let's keep it going. Thank for you. Sure. We will I'll continue to support you guys. You guys just hit me. Let me know whatever you guys need, and I'm there for sure. Awesome. Keep that music coming. Let's do it. All right. So, everybody, go get Aqua. Go get Black. Go, go get it, both. Go download it. Do everything. Put it in videos. Just keep it going. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Make You're sure so you welcome. check out the article on Sheen Magazine. It's super dope. And uh, yeah, I'll have you. Thank you. Have a Bye. wonderful Bye. night. Bye-bye. Bye. That was an awesome interview, you guys. Thank you so much for sitting down with us today. My name is Laura Miller. You can find me at Laura Miller Pens on Instagram. This is another brilliant episode of Sheen Talk Live. Talk to you soon. Bye.